Oregon is taking a bold step with the fentanyl crisis. On Tuesday, the governor declared a fentanyl state of emergency in Portland for 90 days. Overdose deaths from synthetic opioids have increased by 533 percent in that area from 2018 to 2022. The long-term solution is to make sure that anybody in Oregon, not just in Portland, that is ready to seek a pathway to recovery, that they have a place to get the treatment they need. The move comes years after the state decriminalized all drugs back in 2020. Other states and cities have done the same, with the rationale being to treat drug use and dependence as a health and social issue, not one of criminal justice. If they didn't see this coming, the rest of the world did. Sergeant Betsy Smith with the National Police Association says decriminalizing drugs doesn't work because there's a disconnect with the mental health care system. A part of their sentence should be drug rehabilitation. No, no I can't, can't ever give up. And then I'll just be like the rest, and I don't see myself like them. Eric Johnson from our Seattle station Como highlighted his loved one, 35-year-old Lexi Evanson, and what he calls her slow suicide. Lexi was addicted to heroin and then fentanyl for years. She died in December of acute bacterial meningitis. I think I've experienced enough life and death for three or four lifetimes. People like Lexi are why Washington state switched course and increased the punishment for publicly using or possessing drugs after essentially decriminalizing it in 2021. Other places like the state of California and the city of Philadelphia also decriminalized drugs and are now seeing a spike in overdoses. Back in Oregon, Republicans are working to end the drug decriminalization measure. Meanwhile, Democrats are pushing for tweaks that would make possession of a small amount of a drug like fentanyl a misdemeanor. In Washington, Janae Bowens.